So as you've seen, picked up a couple of rare beauties. Nineteen eighty six Power Ram fifty. Very rare turbine wheels. We're in Maine, so you're going to get four wheel drive, five speed. It's a Bishi 2.6. Just got a hundred and three thousand on it. The lady said they bought it in ninety nine, only used it a couple of times, didn't even register it. She claims it's been sitting out there in the woods since then, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's got the moss, but I think it would be a lot, uh, a lot more gone than it is. I mean, it's not even that bad under here. Doesn't seem like anything was really living in it. Doesn't even really smell inside. I also got this, uh, I don't even know what year, I think 89, 88. Dodge Raider. Same thing, 2.6 Mitsubishi. This one's an automatic, obviously, four wheel drive. Had this plow on it most of its life. This one, the uh, Rear frame fell off it. Just that little rear section, and uh, that's what held up the gas tank. And uh, that came out. So, the old guy just rigged up a can. He was running off a can under the hood just to plow the yard and, you know, plow the driveway and stuff. So, the stories, there's always the stories you go by first, right? They said that uh, this one, he was using it, but he said that the starter went, and as far as he knew, something screwed up with the plow pump itself. Um... I hooked up a uh, jump pack to it, and it's weird, it, it, there's no power going to anything. I mean, I'm not getting one light, nothing on inside. So, <clears throat> I haven't been able to get under there, because I haven't even got it off the trailer yet. Um, I'm thinking maybe the starter is, the main cable is disconnected underneath. I don't know. So, I gotta look further into that. The story with the uh, Ram 50 is uh, pretty much nothing. She said that she thought she remembered something about him saying that last he knew it needed a water pump. But uh, it's not loose or anything. Could be leaking, who knows. She said other than that, this was a... Uh, this was a runner and then just left back there to sit. So. Definitely a cool little truck. Um, 
can't find these anymore especially with four-wheel drive I don't know if the wheels are factory or not but I can't find anything online I can't even find another picture of one of these with those wheels on it so those could be very very rare so there was no uh, no battery uh, cable ends at all just a couple wires there um, all I did was hook it up this one I got power got lights dash lights up and everything um, and I just I just hit the key and cranked it twice and it does crank over so the gas gauge reads empty um, doesn't smell very good in there so uh, there could be maybe the old guy just drained it completely out or could have a hole in it who knows but I got a bottle of gas and uh, I'm gonna pour a little in the carb and just simply uh, see what happens since uh, since 1999 she's saying it's the last time it ran I don't know so let's see what happens in case you're wondering uh, what I was doing over here I'm trying to get rid of these stumps I'm just trying to burn them down because uh, uh, I need the room and I always uh, I always want to back down in here with the trailer keep it over to this side and I'm always end up getting stuck on these stumps so I gnawed away a little bit with the chainsaw and uh, I got a hole poked a hole down the middle of this one I put some charcoal down in there and now I'm just gonna uh, let it burn a couple days hopefully I can get it down enough I just want it down enough so I can drive over